Hi, welcome back to the channel. This video is following my other video on rental costs here in Australia. Here I'm going to be covering everything in detail from how to find a property to what to expect from the inspection process, what documents you need, as well as what happens after you sign your rental agreement. So keep watching if you're interested. Okay, let's begin with the most basic thing that you need to know. Where can you find a property here in Australia? The major real estate sites are realestate.com.au and domain.com.au. There are many others, but these are the major ones. And then if you want to live in a share house, flatmates.com.au is the biggest site. For short-term rentals, say that you just arrived in Melbourne and you need temporary accommodation, you can check Airbnb. It's a bit costly, but it's a good option. Okay, as I said in my previous video, there is this amazing tool on realestate.com.au that allows you to identify the most popular suburbs in each Australian state. Check that out, I'll leave you the link below. It's an amazing tool if you don't know where to get started or what suburb you want to live in. Once you know which suburb you want to live in, you need to get started with finding the different rental listings. I'll show you how to navigate the website. So let's jump on the computer. So we are here on real realestate.com.au. Now let's say that you want to live in Elwood and you know that the average rental cost in Elwood is 310 per week for a one bedroom apartment. We're going to use these filters to set our maximum price. Let's go to rent. Let's set 400 and here you're going to type in Elwood and make sure that it's in Victoria. Here you can use other filters, for example, a one bedroom apartment in the property, and you can filter by whether you want a house, an apartment, a townhouse. In this case, we're going to use this filter and we're going to click on search. So now this will take you to the listing site and here you can scroll down and see all the different properties. You can also filter by newest, oldest, price. So let's say the highest, for example, and let's click on this one. So as you can see, the first thing that pops up is a property address. This is very useful because you can put it on Google Maps and see what the surrounding area looks like. You also have photos of the property and the price per week and how many bedrooms and bathrooms are there in the apartment. It seems that there is no car spot because otherwise you'd have the little icon. Then you have the option to request an inspection as well as your bond. And I'll explain all this in a minute. Then you also have the availability of the property so this means that you can move into the property from the 6th of January 2022. You also have a little map here to see where the property is located. And then of course you have the typical description of the place and the different amenities and what it includes, property features, the floor plan and then if you keep scrolling down you also can see the suburb profile and you can also see the different schools and childcare centers around the area. This is especially if you're coming with your family and you want to live in an area that's close to schools or childcare centers. And then you have the contact details of the real estate agent and here you can send them a message or any questions that you may have. I'll give you a tip. If you sign in to realestate.com.au you will be able to see your listings. They also have a mobile app that you can use and you can save the listings to your favorite list. And this is very useful but only when you are here in Australia and are looking for properties. Okay now I want to highlight key points in relation to what I just showed you. As you saw on the app you can request an inspection. What is an inspection? An inspection is an appointment that you make with a real estate agency in order to go and inspect to see a property. Now let's talk about the inspection process when you want to rent a house or an apartment. Inspections usually go for 15 minutes. And after that time, you need to decide whether you like that property or not. During the inspection, you need to ask the real estate agent all the questions that you have about that property. Again, you need to make sure that it's the right property for you. If you have pets, that is a dog or a cat, you need to ask the real estate agency whether they allow to have pets in the house because sometimes they don't allow to have pets in the property. Okay, now, if you like the property, ask the agent for an application form. This is usually on paper or sometimes you're going to be required to submit your application online. Remember that it's likely that there will be other people applying for that property, so you want to be quick. So if you like the property, go for it. All right, next step. You need to have all your documents 
documents ready for your application. That is your passport or driver's license or birth certificate. Then you're going to need personal and rental references. Why? Because the landlord or the agent are going to call these references to ensure that you have good character and that you're going to be a good tenant. So make sure that you give your references a heads up and tell them that they're going to get a call from the agent. You'll also need to show proof of income, a payslip or a bank statement showing that you have a monthly salary to cover your rental costs. If you just arrived in Australia and you don't have a job yet, I would recommend bringing evidence of an overseas bank account to show them that you have enough funds to cover your rental costs. Another thing that many people don't do, but this really, really helps, and I tell you this based on my experience, the best thing that you can do is to also submit a brief cover letter introducing yourself to the landlord and the agent, telling them what you do for a living or your situation very briefly, and also expressing your interest in the apartment and explaining why you like it so much. This is going to help you stand out. And if you know that the competition is fierce when applying for this property and you really want it, you can offer a bit more money for rent. That is $5 or $10 more per week. This usually really helps. What happens next? After you've submitted your application, the landlord and the real estate agent are going to review it and they're going to decide whether they accept your offer or not. Okay, another question that I usually get asked is how long are rental contracts? The usual duration of a rental contract in Australia is 12 months. After these 12 months, you can renew that contract and keep going. Sometimes contracts may be a bit shorter and they may go from three to six months. In other instances, contracts may be even longer. For example, they may go for seven years, especially if it's a family renting a house. But again, 12 months is the standard. But what happens if you want to move out of the property before the contract finishes? Well, this means that you're going to be breaking your lease. And this is pretty costly. So be very, very careful with breaking a lease. And what happens when you sign your rental agreement? Well, the first thing is that the agent is going to give you the keys to the property. Then you'll have to pay for your first rent. You up front. You'll also have to pay for the bond. I explained this concept in my other video, but basically this is a guarantee that if there's any damage to the property whilst you're living in it, once you leave, a part of your bond is going to get deducted to cover those repair costs. Also, don't worry about cleaning because usually they do professional cleaning of the property before you move in. And my tip, the moment you arrive in the property, your first day, take photos and make videos of the whole place because you want to make sure sure that there are no issues. If you find any problems with the property, you need to talk immediately to the state agent so they can immediately fix them. Usually the landlord covers the cost for these issues, so don't worry about it. And another thing that you need to consider is that when you leave the property, you're going to have to pay for cleaning fees. This is standard practice. And beware of scams. Never ever transfer money without seeing a property. Always go and inspect it and make sure that the real estate agency is legitimate. If you want to know about rental costs and you didn't see my other video, I'll leave you the link here. And if you like this video, please subscribe and like so I can keep making much, much and much more content for you. Ciao!